guys this is magnanimous minds lectures online uh, we continue with mathematics and for integration and now we are looking at integration of uh, trig functions And since we said that uh, integration is the inverse of differentiation, that means if we differentiate something to take it back, we are integrating. So that means those functions that we differentiated uh, while we're doing differentiation, when we take them back to the original form, they become a uh, the integral so what I mean is that uh, when we integrate sine x dx it becomes negative cos x cos d over dx of negative cos x is negative negative sine x and this gives us sine x so that's why this this becomes this is because if we if we differentiate this which is the answer here it gives us this and then another one it's a cos x dx this is just simply sine or oh, yeah this plus c sine x plus c and this is from d over dx sine x which gives us cos x then moving forward we've got a uh, sec squared x dx which gives us tan x plus c this is just simply because d over dx tan x is equals to sec squared x And then we also do have uh, the inverse functions whereby those inverse functions are cosec, sec, and cot. This is the inverse, it's one over sine. This is one over cos. This is 1 over 10. So let's start with the cot, whereby we get cot when we integrate cos sec squared x dx. This simply gives us negative cot x plus c and then you'd ask yourself where we get this from and we simply get this from d over dx cot or cot x which gives us negative cosec squared x so what we did here is just simply take this minus out and divide both sides with a sign then the negative comes this side so that's why the negative is no longer with cosec but with cot then moving forward we've got uh, sec 
whereby for us to get sick it's when we are actually in it's when we are integrating sec x term x dx this simply gives us sec x plus c because d over dx of sec x it's sec x tan x that's how we we end up with this then move forward to we did a cot and sec now we are going to the next one which is which is cosec for us to get a cosec we get it from integrating cosec x cot x dx and this gives us negative cosec x plus c because d over dx cosec a uh, cosec x x actually equals to negative cosec let me write it down here equals to negative cosec x cot x and that's it up like there's a uh, the inverse uh, what you call inverse uh, functions and we also do have like uh, integration of other like uh, trig functions which we haven't covered yet and those uh, functions are the following it's a uh, tan x dx which gives us a uh, lean sec x plus c mind you this sec x is inside the modulus meaning that whatever that's inside is to be positive and then we also have a uh, cot x dx which gives us lean sin x plus c and then the next one is a uh, sec x dx which gives us lean sec x plus tan x plus c then the last one it's a uh, cosec x dx which is negative lean of let me write it down it's equal to negative lean of cosec x plus cot x over c and uh, that's it if you check like uh, the pattern you will realize that when you integrate this you get this and then when you integrate this you get a negative lean and inside that lean it's a sum of these two as you can see when you integrate cosec you get a negative lean cosec plus cortex and then 
a similar thing happens with the the other ones so that's just about it with the integration of trick functions thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also do follow us on our social media platforms on facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous underscore minds twitter at magnanimous mean one thank you